Good evening on Friday evening and now for something completely different uh, not least because the sun's coming in and out and may cause some funny effects on the camera uh, we'll have to wait and see how that turns out a uh, different because actually this little chat relates to another video that really blew me away earlier in the week and caused a few things to crystallize in my mind about recent events uh, and it's a tough one to do so please bear with me now no two ways about it this last week or so have been really tough in what our eyes have seen uh, with what's erupted all over north america and in other countries including our own following the death of george floyd and there is also that and the frustration at both ends of the political spectrum about how the government has or has not been handling uh, coronavirus and public health and the balances of human rights we took to be inalienable unless we were under martial law, which we're not. We can all balance risk according to the R number, can't we? That would be the libertarian view and basically our own agents. We should be able to make up our own minds and behave accordingly. Now, from the other angle, I suppose, there is perceived to be a duty of the state to impose restrictions, principally, I suppose, for those who had not been in a position to help themselves and thereby be a risk to other people. Yet we have the lifting restrictions such that non-essential shops are going to be open, but not our churches, uh, which means some of us can huff and puff about that, maybe. Um... But that's where we are. The, the R number is still uh, as high as it is. And our death rate per million here is second only to Belgium. And it's three times that of the United States. So just go and figure. It's very bewildering for everyone. So what about the big man upstairs? Apologies for the lack of inclusive art language. What about God, creator, sustainer, redeemer, let alone friend, how can this all happen on God's watch? How is this relationship sustainable? To borrow, borrow from the description of the Godhead, where God is our sustainer, how is this relationship sustainable? Is the relationship damaged irreparably? Is the relationship over? And this is the link to the title of the video. How do you keep the music playing? Is another way of asking how you sustain a relationship uh, often at an early stage with somebody who is or would be a lover and you take that word lover in whichsoever sense uh, you choose to take it how do you proof this relationship from fading away now there are all sorts of threads within the tapestry of christian mysticism which describe relationships with the divine in very passionate, visceral, intimate terms. One's whole being is completely overcome with whatever it is those chemicals are doing through your body and through your brain. <clears throat> and these sensations, these emotions can run, run the whole gamut from platonic love and affection, brotherly, sisterly love, familial love right the way through to the passionate and all the expressions of that and there are some portions for example of St Teresa of Avila's writings that are not for those who are inclined to be a bit prudish uh, or easily embarrassed so earlier this week I was reduced to a blubbering wreck by the beauty of the track whose description is down below in the description box and some of you may have seen on my Facebook. It's a track that's been hitherto unreleased by the choir of Trinity College, Cambridge. I was nostalgic for the music I used to make as a young person like that, as a choral scholar in my student days. And I'm going to miss the music festival that I attend down in the West Country, where I miss all those young people basically whom I once was, um, but that's just how it is. The singing in this track is absolutely peerless, both by the soloist and by 
the ensemble. The arrangement of the song is sheer genius. But it's the words. It's the words. And so often with love ballads, there is much, if not all, that one can carry forward to describing our relationship with God, our Father and God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Strange though that may seem. And to that end, I'm just going to talk you through the lyrics of the song. I hope you will take the trouble to play once this portion of the video is over. And then I'll leave you in your own time to listen and weep with tears of joy, I hope, uh, to the linked track. How do you keep the music playing? How do you make it last? How do you keep the song from fading too fast? Response. Well, it's not always about us, is it? Are we underestimating others out of fear of our needs not being met? Jesus Christ has more capacity to sustain than any human being and will not let you down. And it's all done in God's time and not ours. How do you lose yourself to someone and never lose your way? Well, I believe we maintain our own authentic voices in responding to the command to love our neighbours as ourselves. It is, after all, a question of our putting ourselves first in terms of the love that we can then go on to share. Remember, God's most important gift to you is you. How do you not run out of new things to say? Well, this is a fear in any date, let alone the early days of a relationship. And as you get to know each other better, you will find there is increasing meaning in silence, especially when both perceive that what they want to say to each other is completely beyond words, but can be understood in other ways. And let's not forget that God knows our thoughts long before we form them. And since you know we're always changing, how can it be the same? And tell me how year after year you're sure your heart won't fall apart each time you hear his name. Well, again, this comes from trust that's developed over time. Our trust may waver. God's trust in us, as long as our ears are open to the possibility of hearing his voice, is never absent. God's trust in us is never absent. I know the way I feel for you is now or never. The more I love, the more I am afraid that in your eyes I may not see forever, forever. Again, it's relatively early days in a relationship. Stick with it. You won't be let down. Not by God. If we can be the best of lovers, yet be the best of friends, if we can try with every day to make it better as it grows, with any luck, then I suppose the music never ends. So the accommodation of kindness, affection and passion within a relationship is an art. It's a balancing act which comes with experience and it comes in the knowledge that it's OK not to be perfect. It's like riding a bike. We learn how to balance. We learn how to ride it. Sometimes things go awry, but we never forget what it's like to balance a bike. It's a skill that becomes one that's internalised. I know how do you keep the music playing. I know I weigh the feel for you as now or never. The more I love, the more that I'm afraid that in your eyes I may not see forever, forever. If we can be the best of lovers, yet be the best of friends. If we can try with every day to make it better as it goes, with any luck, then I suppose the music never ends. So don't give up when the going's tough. It's an early stage for all of us in our relationship with God, even supposed experts like crusty clergy like me. Uh, God will not abandon us. God gives us all the things we need and sometimes when we want them. 
So a song is not, this song is not a perfect analogy uh, with uh, how to address or relate to the divine, but I believe it's a start. Um, uh, there are pop lyrics I've used in the past, sometimes with more success than others. And if like me, uh, you will be feeling wobbly, uh, you feel down, uh, forget, well don't forget that you're not alone. The music of heaven is playing every time we're able to raise a smile when things seem otherwise dark and hopeless. So enough of my words. Uh, I recommend you hear these words and the music together as we look forward to being together, just as these young people are in their college chapel, doing things they love together. And I hope that we can meet in our favourite sacred space soon to do the things we enjoy doing. So enjoy the music and the words and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.